In this video, we'll continue working with the beat sequencer to create better drum beats that complement our bass lines. The bass line in this example uses the Liverpool bass with autoplay pattern 2. Each chord lasts for two bars, and I'm alternating between a one finger tap on the first bar and a two finger tap on the second bar of each chord. We can then tap the plus in the bottom left of the screen and then scroll to beat sequencer to add our drum beat. We can then build a backbeat as we have before. The bass drum hits on beats one and three, snare drum on two and four, and our eighth notes in the hi-hat with some additional variations. Then tap the inspector at the bottom of the screen and tap on length. One bar of four beats subdivides into 16 steps or 16th notes. But for this example, we're going to select 32 steps. This creates a second bar for our drum beat, which at the moment is the same as the first. We'll now add some variations to that second bar of our drum beat. For example, we'll add some open hi-hat hits at the end of the bar. Next, we'll add some additional bass drum and snare hits and some hand claps to double the snare drum. So let's listen to that now with our bass line. The second bar of our drum beat now has some variations which complements the autoplay pattern variations of our bass line. Listen for how the bass and snare drum hits match with the bass line in the second bar of the pattern.